all right i just did self-care today and it was a hour massage and it was wonderful you always has to have to take care of yourself especially after long weeks long days of working um it's crazy as the world is today people leaving economy is rising um you have to treat yourself just to keep your mind intact so with this vlog i challenge you to treat yourself and leave a comment in the comment section and tell me you know what you did maybe i can glean from some ideas from you guys all right so go ahead and press the subscribe button press like so this video can reach everyone it's short but hey and i may i'm sorry i may come back later on this evening to add to it and maybe we can talk about self-care maybe we'll see but if i don't press the subscribe button and press like talk to you guys later <laughs> I went my on all so that you'll be notified every time that Living with Rita posts a new video. Go ahead and take over. I don't get on often, but I see today. You got me off today, today, my wife, I try to get out of the house today. Well, she just got home and it's a good day outside. I gotta take this one back here to get his hair cut so maybe we get a little bit of footage of how good a one-year-old is getting his hair cut. So, huh? So, um, I don't know. I guess my wife said, you know, I could come up with something. So, I was kind of thinking about something to talk about. And I guess since we on this, we started this budgeting course to kind of do better with our money. One, I guess, topic I throw out there, see how people feel about it treating yourself while budgeting. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and see. You know, if people want to comment on how do y'all treat yourself when budgeting. I'm not gonna lie. One thing about me, clo clothing, like, okay, yeah, I'm from DC, and I'm not. You know, depend on what it is. If it catches my eye, I will buy like some more shirts. Like I'm. I don't do the, the skinny jeans. I don't do the tight jeans and stuff like that. But it's a good shirt, you know, I like. But I definitely like shoes. I've always liked drawers. And what? See? You can't get that? You, you want to make your faces off the camera? See? I'm, I'm see, to see, see, see. Now, when I do get out of here, you know, she won't make little faces at me now. But I always, I've always liked drawers. And right now, for anybody who likes drawers, know that um, some 12s just came out last week and I was able to get a pair I got a buddy of mine uh, that's my shoe connect shout out to my man G Money <laughs> why don't you get you make all these faces you can't even make the faces okay. <laughs> see so but I'm not gonna lie I had to pay and I'm, and I'm sure my wife wanted to get, I'm going to see if she won't get the, her expression. Yes, I paid $300 to get these shoes. I, I did. Huh? So, speak up. See? Come on, Liv 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 speak up. Don't come on. Don't be shy. Clean this phone. You ain't on my channel trying to work things. Oh, see? See? But I'm saying right now, but like I said, that, that $300 that I spent is not 
coming out of the household money. So I've realized that yes, I have a you know a love for the Jordans, and one reason why I have a love for it because as y'all guys know, for all the Jordans that are coming out, they're pretty much the same shoes that came out probably when we were all kids. You know, unfortunately, when I was a kid, my mom didn't have like that to drop a hundred, two hundred some dollars on different colors of Jordans. So, you know, I'm in a place where I can buy some. I want to buy some for my son, my family. I want to do so. But I guess right now, when you're budgeting, I'm sure people say, hey, man, that $300 going towards a meal. But like, I, but like I said, it's not, it's money that I'm putting aside. Like, every out of my check, I take, I believe I take 20, 25, 20, 25 dollars and I have my own little shoe stash. And if I know it's a pair of J's that's coming out, you know, and everybody knows always something dropping. I'm not gonna get every single color, but there's certain ones I wanna get. You know, I'm still gonna put my money aside. So I just wanna know, I guess start a conversation, how do people feel about that? You know, you know, when it do do some do you guys feel guilty of kind of spoiling yourself? while budget. So here it is. If, if it's something that you know you've set money aside, it could be $300, $400, $500. When you have that money, and you know, and especially if you're married, you know, married with kids, you have that money, and you say, well, I got this $500 in my hand. And then you say, you know, this $500 is going towards this one thing I want real bad. Or do you, or then you look up on the refrigerator and you see a bill for $500. Well, like you know what even though well, if that bill needs to be paid for our it should be then you look up on the refrigerator and you see a bill <laughs> like, you know what, even though,